Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd film a little updated what's new in my wardrobe video. I've got some really, really nice new in pieces, but there's just not enough from each individual brand to like warrant doing its own video. So I thought I'd just shove them all in this one video so they're all in one place. You can see what I've got new in the wardrobe, basically. I've got a few bits from um, a few different places. I've got some new um, Zara pieces, like literally like a tiny Zara haul. Um, I've got some pieces from SLA. Love that brand. I'm actually wearing a two piece from SLA now. This two piece is so lush. It's like socially acceptable pajamas that you can wear outside so soft so comfy i'll link what i'm wearing now in the description box as well um i've got some bits from naked fashion there's clothes there's a bag there's just a lot of cute new bits so let's just jump straight in and let me show you what is new in my wardrobe shall we start off with zara i feel like i kind of want to start off with zara everyone loves a bit of zara don't they let's start with zara okay so first thing from zara is this gorgeous white linen shirt. I think everyone needs a linen shirt in their wardrobe, especially this time of year going into spring, summer. They're just a lot lighter than wearing um, a cotton shirt. I also feel like a cotton shirt can sometimes look a little bit more like formal and more workwear, and this can seem a bit more casual. My, I find with some linen shirts, they can kind of discolor quite easily. Some of them can go quite dull looking after a few washes like rather than looking crisp and white they can go almost like grey like have a grey tinge do you know what I mean so almost every year I like to just treat myself to a new one so last year I bought one I think it was from H&M this year I thought I'd go for Zara so I got this in a size medium it did say it was already oversized on the website and this looks like the perfect size. It's not too big so that I couldn't tuck it into a pair of trousers if I wanted to, but it's also long enough to wear it over the top of like dresses and um, like cycling shorts and like two piece sets if I want to. I just really, really love it. Oh, I forgot to say the price. This was £32.99. Next up from Zara, and it is this black basic mini dress. It is um, quite fitted. It's really elasticated, so I know it'll be super, super comfortable. And then it's got these really, really tiny little spaghetti straps, which I love. I love anything with straps like this. You'll know if you watch my Zara hauls, I've had um, a couple of bodysuits from Zara recently with the same sort of straps. But I just wanted a basic mini dress. This, for me, isn't so much for wearing on, like, on its own. I want this to pair underneath my shirts, underneath blazers, underneath my linen shirt. There's just so many ways you can style this. Um, so yeah, I bought this to wear sort of more casually. You could definitely dress it up. You could definitely wear this underneath an oversized black blazer with some nice heels and a nice bag. But yeah, I kind of pictured this with more like of a casual look in mind. So I'll pop it on in the try clip and show you exactly what I mean. But just a basic item that I didn't have in my wardrobe, but I know I'm going to get so much wear out of. So I got this in my usual size, size small, and it was only £12.99, so absolute bargain. Okay, another piece from Zara, and you've probably seen a lot of other um, like people online buying this. I know I have anyway, it's kind of what sold it to me, but it's this gorgeous cropped shirt. It is honestly giving, I'm going to butcher the name, Jacquemus vibes. Guys, look, I've got a brummy accent. I can't, I can't do these words. I'm just going to say a jacquemus. So <laughs> if I've butchered that, honestly, don't even take the time to tell me. I know I probably have. But this um, shirt is so, so gorgeous. Again, so many ways you could wear this. I think wearing this with some blue jeans would look gorgeous. But in the summer, oh my God, there's so many outfits you could wear this with. You could wear this with some gorgeous like tailored shorts, maybe even a bright pair of um, nice like wide leg trousers. Such a gorgeous shirt. I really, really love it. I got this in a size small, so my usual size, uh, because it does say on the website it's slightly oversized. So yeah, I know, I think I saw a few people saying that they had like issues when buying this. So I thought just stick true to size and I am glad I did. So yeah, recommend staying true to size. It was 25 99 
I just think it's so gorgeous. I love the two pockets, like either side on the boobies. Oh, it's just so, so pretty. I can't wait to wear that. So could not resist that one. Next up, another piece from Zara. And it's these gorgeous kind of like off-white trousers. I love the fact they've got the crease going down the middle. Just gives it that little bit more, I don't know, of like more of an expensive feel. Do you know what I mean? But something my wardrobe was really, really lacking was a pair of light coloured tailored trousers like this. I'm not usually one for going for like a light coloured trouser. I don't like white jeans. I don't really like beige coloured jeans. They're just not my vibe. But I can definitely go on board with a pair of trousers. These are in my usual size, size small and they were 29.99 these would also make a fab like pair of work trousers to wear in the office for like spring summer just to brighten up your wardrobe a little bit you know so yeah i'm really really pleased that i picked these up last thing from zara well two things really so i got this in two colors because i just think they're so handy to have in your wardrobe so i'm gonna have to hold these up separately so i got this set so it's a little white like ribbed crop top and then the cycling shorts to match and I love sets like this just for wearing underneath blazers, underneath shirts. I lived in outfits like this um, like sort of last spring summer so I thought let's get some and the thing is when I say that I wasn't wearing like matching sets if that makes sense. I was kind of putting sets together. I'd take a pair of cycling shorts, I don't know, from Misguided, wear it with the top from Zara. So I thought it'd be quite nice to have in my wardrobe some actual sets um, that I'll, I know I'll get loads of wear out of. So yeah, I got it in white and then obviously had to also get it in black because as I said, look, I'm gonna be living in these. So might as well. So I went for everything in my usual size, pretty sure they do it in like extra small to small, then like medium to large. Pretty sure that was this. Yeah, so I got extra small to small. The shorts were $12.99 and the top, because they sell them separately, was $9.99. So yeah, just a couple of really good basic sets. And that is everything from Zara. As I said, I don't think that's enough to dedicate a whole haul to Zara. And it's more so proper bits that are really, really just needed and had to get. So next up, I'm gonna show you a few pieces from SLA that I've got. Okay, can we just take a moment Look at the colour of this blazer. Oh my God, it's so, so stunning, but it gets better. Look what I've got to wear underneath this blazer. Oh, so nice. So I've got this beautiful bralette, this little pink. Oh my God, the colour of it is so cute. So I've got that and then the cycling shorts to match. Look, I told you I love a matching set cycling shorts to match which are just beautiful the cycling shorts are in an extra small and the bralette is also in an extra small and then to wear over the top obviously just had to get the blazer obviously on its own this blazer would look just stunning you could wear this with jeans you could even wear it with like the white trousers that i showed you earlier but i think this as a set with the pink um like top and shorts is just such a vibe so so nice i need a bottomless brunch i need someone to invite me to a bottomless brunch to wear this outfit it's so gorgeous the blazer i got in a size medium so that it's long enough to wear as a dress which it definitely is one thing i would say is if you are going to wear it as a dress maybe just get the cycling shorts to wear underneath as more of like a just in case i really love the sla blazers the fit of them is perfect for me i love the fact that the sleeve length is long they don't cut me off at the wrists the shoulder pads are really boxy and the length of them is really good they go way past your bum just beautiful really really honestly can't wait to wear this outfit next up another set from sla honestly they they're just killing it at the minute with what they're bringing out so lovely another set but this time a bit more of a casual vibe and it's this beautiful sweater and like jogger short set it's in this gorgeous white color and then it's got the little logo in like a little lime green there it says sla the label 
and then also the shorts to match which i thought was so cute this is literally like one of the comfiest outfits ever to wear i actually shot this outfit on my instagram the other day so i'll pop the picture in here of me wearing it there wouldn't this just make the most perfect airport outfit? I also think this would look really, really nice um, dressed up and maybe wearing an oversized blazer over the top. Nice bag, maybe a cap, socks and trainers. It's just very, very cool. Kind of giving me like Princess Diana vibes. So I got the sweater in a size medium. They do come up slightly oversized already. Um, but yeah, I like mine over oversized. And then I stayed true to size on um, the shorts and got an extra small. So that kind of translates to like a UK size eight with SLA. Um, so yeah, next up, I just need to show you this bag that I've been loving recently. It's a big one. Are you ready? Who remembers my spring trends video? I said oversized big bags are gonna be in. Well, I needed to get one. Look at the size of this, it literally just, takes up the entire screen but i absolutely love it so this was my reasoning behind buying this one they're very on trend right now two i am sick to death of mini bags the whole of last year i feel like brands were coming out with bags that were getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and it was ridiculous i need a big bag i like to put a lot of shit in my bags and I always end up carrying stuff for my blooming boyfriend. He's always like giving me his phone, his wallet, like to keep in my bag. Oh, so I thought, you know what? No, I need a big oversized bag. I can fit my camera in there, my laptop. I can fit the week's worth of shopping in there, to be honest. It's so lovely. It's from Naked Fashion. I wanted just a big, bold, bright colour. I thought, why not? You know, to pair with like a more neutral outfit. I thought this was just a bit of fun. So yeah, it's from Naked Fashion. Does it? I can't remember the price. I think it was £40. I can't remember the price and I've took the label off, but... I'll link everything in the description box anyway, but I'm pretty sure it was like four, maybe £45. It was around that. But it's kind of in this gorgeous, like soft faux leather material. Just really, really lovely. I think it's gorgeous. Okay, so if you follow me on TikTok or you watch my vlogs, you might have already seen this outfit, but I love it so much. I just feel like it needs more airtime. I had to include it in this video. It's this beautiful pastel yellow suit from asos i just can't get enough of this i think this would be the most perfect um like baby shower outfit wedding guest christening day at the races it just has so many like occasion wears that it kind of ticks the box for so so beautiful as i said it's from asos it wasn't like the cheapest um blazer and trousers on there i'm not gonna lie but I feel like when you're buying something like a suit, as I said, to wear maybe as like a wedding guest or something like that, I feel like you do have to spend the money to get a really nice fitting one. So the blazer I got in a size 40. What's that when it's at home? Ooh, don't know. I think I'll put in the description. I'll add sizes in the description box because I'm just useless. So the blazer I got in the size 40. And then the trousers... It would I think it would have basically accumulated I think to for my trousers UK size 8 whatever the equivalent was on there and usually in the blaze I always like to size up to a size UK size 12 so that's what I would have gone for um what size is it saying the trousers? it says the trousers are a 36 yes so that's right so 36 will be a size 8 38 will be a size 10 40 would be a size 12. Oh my God, look, quick maths. We got there in the end. So size 12, 40, size 36, size eight. There we go. Just the most gorgeous suit. And I love like dressing down suits and wearing them more casual. So in the try on clip, I've wore it with my trainers and then just a little white bralette underneath just for more of like a casual vibe. But you could definitely, like I'm wearing the blazer open here, but you could definitely do the blazer up, as I said, for more like wedding guest um, appropriate. Just the most loveliest suit. Final thing I've got to show you in this video it is this beautiful, like proper bright apple green blazer. I was just so obsessed with the colour of this. I actually bought this to, um, to film 
uh, reel that I did on Instagram. Literally just fell in love with it. I knew I'd obviously wear it after, but I didn't quite anticipate how much I would love it when it arrived. Now, don't get me wrong, I love like a neutral capsule wardrobe, but it's just fun, isn't it, to throw in a few bright colours here and there. I think wearing this with maybe some little shorts and a white bodysuit would look gorgeous. Perfect like blazer to wear for like a bottomless brunch, going out for drinks, but you could just as easily dress it down and wear it with jeans, t-shirt, trainers, and it would just look gorgeous. This is from Kai the Label, and I got this in a UK size 10. Um, they do already come oversized, so that I was pleased about. Um, but they're a really good length. I was really, really impressed with this. Yeah, really like it. And that's everything I've got to show you for what's new in my wardrobe, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.